Hello everyone. So I'm going to show you how to classify benthic habitat, you know, such as seagrass, sand, coral, and yeah, that's it. Seagrass, sand, and coral. Uh, based on imagery of this uh, place, uh, it's a like island of Kilawang, uh, close to Lombok area, uh, Lombok Island in Indonesia. Uh, first, you can use my uh, telescope imagery collection here. I have a lot of imagery in that. And after that, you can uh, filter. So I'm, I'm using the first images, first uh, the first image of this space. Uh, then I take, uh, I mean, the numerous imagery. And then also, I select only the uh, optical band, uh, band one, coastal, you know, based on this planet's scope uh, database. So coastal blue, blue, green one, green, yellow, and red. So you're not going to use the red edge or uh, near infrared because in benthic classification, uh, usually you don't need uh, to use that because uh, they, had, they have really bad uh, water, uh, what do you call it? Water rusting or <laughs> to, to cross the water depending. You know. This is the image that I saw you using Trocolor, uh, band 6, band 4, and band 2. Uh, and what you need to do is that uh, first I create uh, like an outer. An outer. Outer is basically is a you know where we limit our benthic habitat. It between a division between the deep sea and the benthic habitat. And you need to create an uh, inner too, the inner area, on which the inner area is supposed to be like the limit between the benthic habitat and the uh, the inside of the island, like tree, uh, ground, build up. So we only take uh, between that, you know, the area between that. So after that. So I already created, you, you can create it yourself. Uh, is that we need to create uh, what we call it, the habitat, you know, habitat roy. You know. So for habitat, it's gonna be like, uh, so the outer difference, inner, I think that's the script. Add layer, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna color it to be yellow. The habitat. Is it work? I don't know. <laughs> I check. Ah, here. This is the area that we want between this area. Only. So the rest area is in the north. So that. Okay, then with this habitat, we will mask, mask the image. So. Habitat image will be the image clip. Clip uh, habitat. Then we can add the image again here. This is the habitat long, and this is the image that already clip. So you can focus only on this area, not the whole area. Okay, ready, ready. Uh, I'll clip the image. Now, in that way, is that you know, create a sample like easily, is it uh, like supervised common corpus classification? First, uh, first, maybe I want to uh, add seagrass, you know, seagrass data. So, seagrass. Plus one point. So the seagrass to be this uh, this dark green one. This is the seagrass, but you have to be careful. This is the seagrasses. And be like three point one is enough. Yes. This one too. Uh, this is also the seagrass. And this is also the seagrass. So we're using uh, like seven polygon here. Huh. That's the sea grass. Then for the sun, that's the sand. Sand. 
plus two. Let me change the color of this. Then for the sound, I think it's obvious. I think you need to difference between um, shallow sand and deep sand. This should be like uh, shallow sand. So this the sand that you know the color is yellow. You know. Need to differentiate that. <laughs> Eh, I can see it. Maybe change the color. Mm, this too. This is the what you call the bright sand. Mm, and that's it, I guess. And after that, we need to add the, the what we we'll call deep sand. So deep sand will be this color, this deep sand. So basically, is what is what uh between the seagrass. And the, and the coral. And the last is the the coral. You gonna make the coral area. Mm, so there's another one but it's be coral. So the coral will be this area. You know that it really uh, the texture is quite sharp. It's the coral that uh, I guess that's it. This is just six, and the last is the deep sea. So basically, you know, the deep water, deep sea, deep water. So this water is class five. So this is this part. This is the deep sea. This is basically is the C. This one is two, and so are this, this, this. Maybe some part too. Like this, this will be a small part. Maybe for a while we need to add more. Mm, also for the deep sand. Okay, that's not it. Like eight to oh, the shallow shed. That was okay. Okay, well, okay, so we already have uh, some classes. We need to combine it with one. So the, the sample the sample is equal to uh, sea grass, much uh, salt sand, much deep sand. Then we also match with the uh, coral. Match with the water. Okay. 
Yeah, great. Uh, we need to split the data you know, uh, into training and sample. Split into training and test. So, random column for training will be sample filter and yeah, filter. Oh. Zero point eight. And for the test will be the sample filter. Filter. Okay. <coughs> yeah, we need to get the value. Extract value. Extract value from image. Training. Sample. You know, like uh, easily do using match regions. Eh, no, uh, sample regions. Virgin training. The scale again is five, I guess. Then for the property, I use class. I'm gonna do the same for the for the test on there. Oh yeah, I think we need to move this to what what we need to know. Variable unit variables. Okay, now we create the model, the data forest model. Model, so it's a classifier. Small forest with 15 trees. Train using the training, the training sample. But the class is class. And for the variable, will be the variables. Okay, now we need to check the accuracy of the model first. Check the accuracy. So we are trained the uh, test classify. So test data, test sample. We're going to classify it with the model. Then we need the predicted. matrix between them so class and predicted class see if it is accurate at all we print it coefficient matrix let's classify for the overall accuracy, will be the test classifier. Oh, uh, overall accuracy. Okay, let's run. Is it uh, predictable? Huh? What's your argument? Ah, this one in the random data. So also maybe in order to understand the image directly, show the classification result. I think this will be the image. This image. Classify with the model. Call it benthic. Then we're gonna set the color. The class values will be one, two, three, four, five. Then for the benthic class palette, it will be. Uh, 
Well, look at that we went here. And we just copy and paste it. And sell us in two. Deep sand. And the water. Maybe I change the color a bit. This should be more breathing. And this, this water to be more. Next is that uh, you also can um, um, something. Oh yeah, we need to check how many uh, training training size training size training sample they use training size. Also, this sample. Okay, let's run. Oh, it's only three thousand, not so not so many, I guess. Oh, it's the result. Oh yeah, and I think we, you need to clip the image first. We forgot to clip the image. We need to use these habitat images. <laughs> Sorry. The classifieds. Tada. And this is the result, it seems. I don't know is it or not. <laughs> and the horat is quite high so far. 0 0.9. Hmm. Pretty good or is it bad? I don't know, I'm not sure. So this is guys, uh, how to classify organic habitat, and the accuracy is quite high, although I'm not really sure if it's the true accuracy, <laughs> but it's accuracy nevertheless. Yes, that's it. Uh, thank you for your attention, and bye.